to scale that top rope. No, he missed the moonsault. Hayashi was thinking, polish him off with the moonsault. Fury avoids the contact. Shoulders are down. Fury wins it. Talk about escaping by the skinnier teeth. Welcome, welcome everybody to TWF. It was earlier tonight, before the TV cameras were rolling, it was the Dreamboats trying to take the belts down, trying to cancel the ladder match that's scheduled for later tonight. But it was Famous Inc. who came out here and, and prevented any shenanigans from the Dreamboats. You will they, see in this hour of television a ladder match for the Tag Team Championship, Dreamboats versus Famous Inc. Well, they are up there. You picked an absolutely excellent night to watch. And it's no secret who this packed crowd wants to see walk out of this building with the tag titles later on this evening. Well, the fancy graphic tells you, Famous Inc. versus the Dreamboats in a ladder match later on this evening here on TWF. You picked an absolutely, positively terrific night to watch what we do, to watch our passion, to watch our livelihood ladder match later on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Who's ready for a couple of legends to come out? A legends re Well, it was back at Real Mania in this very building, in this historic venue we call the Colonial Theater, that Joey Balls escaped, keyword on escaped, with a victory in a four-way Legends match. One of the participants, Ecstasy, has demanded a rematch here this evening, and you will see it. And this, my friends, is Joey Balls. Maybe, just maybe, the most well-rounded performer in TWF history. He can do everything between those ropes and has done everything between those ropes. Former champion, former television champion, former Falls Count Anywhere champion, a defunct title, former tag team champion, has done it all. We don't throw around the word legend very lightly. This is the Colonial Theater, this is TWF, this is Sacramento, this is our Madison Square Garden, this is our greatest venue. And these people voicing their displeasure for Joey Balls. You suck, 
Well, let's get this out of the way. You know you're going to our next live pro wrestling event. It's Saturday, October 19th at the Free Flow Academy, 1121 West Sunset Drive in Rockland, California. Doors at 6.30, showtime at 7, 10 bucks in advance, 12 at the door, 8 for kids, be there. Also, November 16th, TWF Turmoil, live pro wrestling returns to Strikes Unlimited in Rockland, California. Exact address is 5681 Lone Tree Boulevard, 7 o'clock bell time, same prices as the other show. Go there live and in person. Do you like live wrestling? Of course you do. Do you like wrestling in all shapes and sizes? Do you want to be part of pro wrestling? Pro wrestling training with Lucha Underground's Vinny Massaro, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. in Lodi, California. Train to be a professional wrestler with a guy who's done some things in the pro wrestling business. Contact Total Wrestling Federation at Hotmail.com or any of our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, for details. And here comes maybe the best pure athlete ever in this company. And that covers history since 1998. He can dunk a basketball. He can catch a touchdown. He can super kick your head off your shoulders into the 27th row. This is ecstasy. A term used by former color commentator slash ring announcer Dick Pearsall, he's cut like a piece of paper. Ecstasy hits the gym probably seven days a week to stay in absolutely, positively magnificent shape. Obviously, he has slowed down the pro wrestling schedule over the past several years. But when he was going at it, he was one of the very best we had ever seen in this company. There's some pure athletes that come along that just can't be denied. He also held every title there was to hold in his day here in TWF. You see a packed crowd at the Colonial Theater. All eyes are on ecstasy and Joey Balls right now. And an overwhelming majority of these folks want to see ecstasy leave this building with a victory. Joey Ball's not impressed. But later on in this hour, you will see the tag title ladder match main event. Very strong words. Oh. <laughs> There was a time in this company when these guys were the best of friends. Part of a faction called the Million Dollar Militia. But as it stands right now, they do not see eye to eye one bit. Joey Ball's got a victory a few months ago. Ecstasy. Really? Who's scared? Is Joey Ball scared of competition? Is Joey Ball scared of revenge? He's telling him to check him for weapons. As a traditional wrestling tights, there's not much room for the imagination for weapons. Wearing athletic shoes, because the guy's athletic. Come on, Joey Ball, stop stalling. Let's get this over with. Come on, let's do this. Come on! You feel anything? No, it's such a little girl. Well, Joey Balls knows that Ecstasy wants some vengeance. He wants some revenge for the mishmash of craziness that was at Real Mania when Joey Balls was victorious. This crowd is loud. This crowd will tell you their opinion 24-7. Those muscles are not chemically enhanced. 
I have actually seen him at the gym many, many times. Come on. Well, prove it then, Mr. Joey Balls. Prove it to the world that it's real strength. I'll show you. Also, in this hour of television, you will see a very, very intriguing TV title situation between Extreme Phantom, a newcomer around here, and CJ Dirt. There is no doubt whatsoever that Joey Balls might be the most powerful individual we've ever seen around here. And Ecstasy knows that. Obviously, you're giving up some size to Joey Balls. Ecstasy, the quicker of the two, and the more athletically gifted, but Joey Balls, extremely gifted for a man his size. Now show me what you got. Oh, Ecstasy trying to wrestle with the guy, trying to tie up, and Joey Balls has had none of it twice in a row. Shoves him in the corner. He has no desire to chain wrestle with that individual, with that uberly athletic individual. He wants to shove him around and bully him like it's a schoolyard somewhere. Ecstasy's got to try something different or he's going to get shoved on his head about 10 more times. Uh-oh. That didn't work. Oh! And that's for the blatant disrespect earlier in this matchup. Oh, drop kick staggers Joey Balls, but just for a split second, Ecstasy has to remember how unbelievably powerful Joey Balls can be. Now both men. Oh, never at a loss for words. Joey Balls doesn't move a single solitary inch. Tries it again. I'm not sure if that was an elbow under the chin or a clothesline, but what it was was something that did not move Joey Balls. Well, there you go, drop kick to the knee, and now Ecstasy swinging haymakers across the face of Joey Balls, and I can't say the guy doesn't deserve it. Baseball slide drop kick sends Joey Balls to the outside, and Ecstasy has taken advantage here at the Colonial Theater. It's packed to the gills here. We thank you so much. Joey Ball's trying to catch a breather on the outside, and Ecstasy ain't having it. Where'd you go? Wow! What athleticism Ecstasy! dives to the outside. Ecstasy! Ecstasy! You see the passion in the eyes of Ecstasy. Although his pro wrestling schedule has slowed down, look at this. Caution to the wind, dives to the outside in very innovative fashion, and Joey Balls is in trouble. Big time right to the back of the skull, and Joey Balls is having trouble finding his equilibrium after taking tons of punishment from ecstasy. Into the ring post goes Joey Balls, and ecstasy is controlling things big time. Well, I alluded to that situation earlier. You'll see it up next. CJ Dirt and Extreme Phantom had themselves... We had a promotional thing go on in Clear Lake, California, right by the lake, a few days ago, to promote upcoming events there, pro wrestling. It was at a car show. And CJ Dirt had a very crazy confrontation with Extreme Phantom, a new luchador, a new competitor in these parts of the world. You'll see that next, but meanwhile, oh, talk about 
your crazy low blows. Talk about Joey Balls pulling one out of 2005. My God. And now Ecstasy, just like that, just like that, is playing catch up. And look at Joey Balls. Using that powerful frame to pretzelize Ecstasy. He's got to grab that rope. And Ecstasy somehow gets his way to the bottom rope and relinquishes the hole. But lots of damage already done by Joey Balls as he puts the boots to Ecstasy. That's the way it goes in pro wrestling. If you have enough longevity, your enemies become your friends, become your friends, become your enemies. It was a time when these guys were inseparable. Those days are long since past. Ecstasy kind of saw the error of his ways many years ago. Joey Balls, however, has been full of himself for a long time. Well, he's telling the world this is what power is. Look at that. Wow. Holding him up, making him think about it, making him stare at the lights. Look at that power. Duplex DDT by Joey Balls. You talk about innovation. You talk about one of the most creative minds for power moves you will ever see in the pro wrestling game. That, my friends, is Joey Balls. Two. Only two. Left or right shoulder, I should say, comes barely off the canvas. And Joey Balls, look at this though, making him think about it. Hold them up there. Not much ecstasy can do, but brace for impact. The Suplex DDT, he's been utilizing that for many years, and Ecstasy is barely moving. Joey Balls will innovate with his power moves. He's like a walking video game. The guy has such a mind for punishment and such a mind to innovate usually rudimentary basic power moves into something spectacular, into something painful for the other guy. Well, if he spent a little more time doing those crazy power moves I'm trying to put over and less time worrying about this crowd, Joey Balls might have already won this thing. But he seems overly concerned about what these people are saying to him. A couple of shots to the face now by Joey Balls. Fireman's carry position, more of that innovative power I alluded to earlier. He squatted him. Uh-oh. Well, Ecstasy, defensive maneuver now. Elbow after elbow into the cheekbone of Joey Balls. Oh, my God. What a super kick. So good. In years past, we called it the Uber kick. He just kicked his head off his damn shoulders, and both men are down. Cover that man. Get that three count. Well, finally, slumps an arm on top of Joey Ball. <laughs> Only a two count. Ecstasy. One more time, but does not, I repeat, does not get the three count. Just way too much time between this. What a super kick. Too much time between that and the potential pinfall for Ecstasy to garner a victory just then and there. Joey Balls, he's on Dream Street. He thinks he's doing spinning pile drivers in 2006 in a warehouse in Rancho. Joey Balls has no idea where he is. And Ecstasy now trying to put the finishing touches and win this thing. Can you say coast to coast? Wow, with ease, Ecstasy soars 18 feet across our ring and delivers the drop kick to the anatomy of Joey Balls. Look at this.
Absolutely, positively spectacular offense by Ecstasy. I believe I can fly. You got to pin that man. Well, Ecstasy still feeling the effects of some earlier punishment. Still moving quite gingerly. That took a lot out of him as well. Uh, he's rope break. Once again, though, Ecstasy's high impact offense is too much time between the move and the possible pinfall, or he might have won this match twice over, in my estimation. Look at this. Look at this. What a moonsault! And still only two. He was balancing himself on the outside of the ring ropes, able to deliver a super innovative moonsault to the inside. But Joey Balls, with that long frame, able to get the foot on the bottom rope and avoid any possibility of a loss just now. But Ecstasy controlling the game. With his athletic offense, Joey balls to a vertical base but doesn't know where, quite where he is at the moment. His eyes are glazed over. He's slumped in the corner. This is an opportune time. He is ripe for the pickings, as Gorilla Monsoon would say. And now he's in the corner. Oh, he missed the stinger splash. Missed the splash in the corner. Joey Ball is able to avoid the contact and now go after Ecstasy. Oh, left shoulder meet ring post. And unfortunately for Ecstasy, his left shoulder will break way before that ring post will. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. This could be the ball buster. This has won him many matches over the years. Ecstasy able to wiggle his way out of trouble. Here we go. Oh, sends him down. Joe KO. Joe KO. Down goes Joey Balls. Pin that man. Cover that man. Oh, but look how much it took out of Ecstasy in the process. Look at this. Well, here's that moonsault from standing on the outside of the second row. And look at this. Absolutely tremendous Joe KO leaps from the outside to the inside and both men are down. And now Ecstasy finally able to shake off what that took out of him and bring up Joey Balls. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh, I don't believe it! Oh, wow! In the midst of all that punishment, Joey Balls with the inside cradle. A big advantage in body weight. Keeps the shoulders down and gets a win. Talk about snatching a victory from the jaws of defeat. That is the definition of that right there. Joey Balls, victory. Quick thinking by the near 20-year vet. I've carried him for too damn long. Despite getting the tar beat out of him, Joey Balls finds a way to leave the Colonial Theater with a 1-2-3. soaking in every bit of the negativity of these people. Well, right here, Ecstasy was thinking, what do I do next? How do I finish him off? Joey Balls, inside cradle, 300 pounds of body weight, shoulders stayed down, three count.
landed in jail, belonging to a union saved me 20% at All Pro Bail Bonds. When my buddy called me to bail him out, I went to All Pro Bail Bonds. They give the military a 20% discount. I needed my husband home with us, but I didn't have the money to get him out. That's why I went to All Pro Bail Bonds, because they let me make payments. You never know when you'll need a pro. Call All Pro Bail Bonds, 888-845-BAIL. Offering affordable payment plans plus military and union discounts. You like live pro wrestling? I do. You do. October 19th, Free Flow Academy, 1121 Sunset Drive in Rockland. Show starts at 7 p.m. Ten bucks in advance. You're going to see us live and in person in Rockland, California at the Free Flow Academy. Then, Turmoil, also in Rockland. Strikes Unlimited, November 16th, 5681 Lone Tree Boulevard, 7 p.m. bell time. Be there. It is probably our nicest looking venue. An amazing spot. You're going to be there live and in person. Facebook.com slash the TWF. Like us. See all of the happenings in TWF firsthand. Upcoming events. Go. It's the move of the moment. Brought to you by our friend John Sump and the home brokerage. Now measuring him. What's he thinking? Oh, he missed! In the corner! Are you kidding me? And now he's up! Michael Nothing doesn't know that he's up! Oh, spikes him! Wow! Talk about your smart veteran maneuver. Gugly's perfectly fine. He had popped up, looked around, and saw that Michael Nothing was on the outside. Catches him in midair and spikes him with the cutter. One, two, three. It's the moves of the moment brought to you by John Sump and the Home Brokerage. Thank you so much for the support of TWF. You know what? You're right. I deserve that. I deserve every bit of the stain that you people have given me. I'm sorry. I apologize. You see, the last time, the last time that I was in this building, I was the TWF champion. But I was with the wrong group of people. I let the wrong people guide me down a path that I didn't want to go. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot why I was out here. I forgot why I do this night in and night out. I forgot why I bleed. And you know who it's for? You know who it's for? It's for me! For me! G-Spot, Anthrax, all of them! No, G-Force is dead! Tonight starts the new era. Tonight starts the cult of nothing. Well, it was three days ago. I have got to show you what happened. That is the extreme phantom. This is Clear Lake, California. We had a promotional event at a car show the day before. Everyone was going to pack up and go home, but Extreme Phantom made arrangements to have a referee, to have a camera. Oh, boy. Look at this. Extreme Phantom grabs CJ Dirt out of his tent. What the 
They've got scores to settle. They've got bad blood from other companies going on. And Extreme Phantom has followed CJ Dirt to TWF and wanted to win the damn TV title. The pro wrestling ring was still set up from the promotional event the day before. You see the lake in the background? CJ's hung over. He had too much whiskey the night before. But this is a TV title match. Full Nelson rolls his way out of it. Leapfrog dives through. And a beautiful swinging neck breaker by Extreme Phantom. And the left shoulder came up. This was a television championship matchup. This is CJ Dirt being thrown out of his tent, being pulled out of his tent with a hungover and extremely beat up body. We had a promotional event the day before and Extreme Phantom was sick of CJ Dirt ducking him and wanted to win the TV title. Oh, into the ring post. Well, look at this. There's that beautiful neck breaker from earlier on in this contest. And then chucked him into the ring post very unceremoniously. And CJ Dirt was reeling. Oh, blocks it. This is absolutely crazy. This is a park in Clear Lake, California. Handful of mask and down goes Phantom. Well, I like the athletic ability. I like the desire by Extreme Phantom. As CJ muscles him over with the suplex, I like the passion of Extreme Phantom. He's going for it. He's utilizing all his resources and trying to beat CJ Dirt in his own game. Oh, shot to the face. Beautiful shot of the lake in the background. But definitely not beautiful for CJ Dirt. That was a top rope Hurricane Runner. It's over. Wow. It is not over. Damn close to becoming brand new television champion of TWF. Look at this. Spectacular from any point of view, from any angle. Super close, but not quite three. This is the middle of nowhere. This is Clear Lake. All the folks from the promotional event had pretty much gone home from the day before. It was an enormous car show called Slammed on the Lake just a few days ago. And now Extreme Phantom. What, what do you say? You say stomp a mud hole and walk it dry? Or just stomp the hell out of the guy? Either way, CJ Dirt is really. CJ Dirt thinks he's back at a trailer park in Manteca. CJ Dirt thinks he's over at the pub and tap house in Manteca drinking IPAs or something. A back elbow avoids any sort of contact. And a nice arm drag by the defending television champion who is very hungover but not off his game, surprisingly enough. Missed the clothesline. Hurricane Rana and CJ ends up on the outside of this ring here. Oh, wait, that's Beast. Beast, who participated in the event the day before, the promotional event, he's out there too. And look at Extreme Phantom dive onto everything in sight. Oh, that's a right hand to the face of Beast as well. Look at this. Well, here's that picture-perfect arm drag moments ago. And then the hurricane run as CJ goes to the outside. What you got me into? Whoa. And look at the dive by Extreme Phantom taking control of CJ Dirt. Falls are going to count anywhere in this thing. 
This is crazy. Who sanctioned this? And Extreme Phantom gets chucked to the outside. And CJ, he's stealing someone's camping chair. That's How not yours. Boy. Yeah. That belongs to someone who came to the car show the day before. Look at this. You can see the lake. You can see people gathered around. Most of the people had already left the car show. That's Clear Lake in the background. Very scenic part of this state. Multiple shots with that camping chair. An extreme fandom is hurt. He wants to be television champion. Talk about winning the title in your debut? Oh, I think it's been 20 years since someone has won the television championship in their debut in this company. There was a guy named Blonde Ambition in about 1999 who did it, but no one since has done that feat. Fireman's carry and CJ gets out of trouble. What a spear! Uh, is redneck and spear better than Oldberg? Uh, <laughs> Beast, help me get this damn Mexican into that pole. Uh, oh, wait a sec. Grab this. Oh, oh Beast gives uh, CJ a shot. Uh, oh boy, me. I don't think Phantom understands uh, the dynamic uh, here in TWF. Right, here oh. Like a javelin. I'm dropping my beer. Got him. Chucked into that sign like a human javelin. Oh no! CJ Dirt wins again. And CJ Dirt wins. What? Talk about picking up the pieces. Talk about getting super lucky. Beast was beating up both guys. Well, here's that crazy spear one more time. And un Unfortunately for Phantom, he had dove outside the ring and gave Beast a right hand in the melee, and Beast got a payback. Beast got a receipt, and CJ, CJ picks up the scraps and keeps the TV title. Crazy. Well, next week on this show, Stephen B. Smith versus Lucha Underground's Vinny Massaro, one-on-one. -on -one. You have got to see that. It will be an absolutely amazing display of professional wrestling on this show next week. So do not miss it. Watch for your notifications if you subscribe. Instagram. The kids love Instagram. Total Wrestling Fed is our handle. Is that what you call it? Our Instagram handle, our Instagram address, our Instagram identity. Total Wrestling Fed. Like us. And the Beach Hut Deli. We are doing a viewing party for the AEW debut. It's at 2535 Fair Oaks Boulevard in Sacramento, 916-971-DELI for the best sandwiches in all the 916. Do I have to keep saying it? Live Pro Wrestling, the 19th of October, Free Flow Academy in Rockland. Show starts at 7. You're going to be there, right? Every single one of you are going to be there. It's an amazing facility. It's like a parkour slash gymnastics. It's great. And then, at Strikes Unlimited, the best bowling alley in the whole state, November 16th, 5681 Lone Tree Boulevard in Rockland, 7 o'clock bell time, usual prices. Each and every one of you better be there, live and in person. Facebook.com slash the TWF. It's a wonderful thing. Is it a wonderful, wonderful thing? Subscribe on YouTube, Facebook. ¿Alguien ha sido arrestado? Llame sin compromiso. Nosotros le ayudaremos. Ofrecemos pagos de acuerdo a su presupuesto. No se preocupe más. Nuestros agentes son amables y profesionales. Llame a un experto. Llame a All Pro Bail Bonds. TWF Championship. 
now! It was in this very building, at our biggest show of the year, Real Mania, that these men had the tag titles stolen from them in the opinion of this broadcast journalist. After months of obstacles, it has come to this, a ladder match for the tag titles. Live pro wrestling shows can come to your town. Contact us, facebook.com slash the TWF. We can do private parties. We can do birthday parties. You can bring the action to your town of professional wrestling. We're a full-service pro wrestling company. Ring rentals, we got it covered. Just contact us. Wow. They are the defending champions. They will do anything they can to keep their titles. You talk about a duo that did everything under the sun to gain a competitive advantage and win the titles. That's exactly what they did at Real Mania a few months back. It's like 1988 Rick Rude over there. The Dreamboats, masters of the psychology side of this wrestling game. Always looking to get that advantage. They took advantage of an injured ink and injured Ashton became the tag team champions several months ago. But now, after months of posturing, after months of utilizing the mind games to stay ahead, it's put up or shut up for both of these teams. In my estimation, this has been the feud of the year here in this company. And you look at that already. Famous Sink doesn't even get a chance to get the ball rolling before the Dream Boats get the hell out of Dodge. And Dreamy Drew wasted absolutely no time in grabbing one of the many ladders at ringside. Oh! Double drop kick and down go the Dream Boats. Ladder meet face. And we are going to do the absolute best we can to capture the action. It's going to be all over the place. Tags are not necessary. Everyone is legal. Oh, everything is legal in this ladder match environment. There are no count outs. There are no pinfalls. There are no disqualifications. It's simple. Grab a ladder, climb the ladder, grab the titles, leave the champions. Oh. Thunderous thud of the body of ink runs into that ladder in the corner there. And now both Dream Boats head in the ring. That's Michael Sean and Dreamy Drew to give Ashton a piece of their mind. Uh-oh. Splash in the corner. And there's one from him too. Oh, running knee right on the face of one of the challengers. And the Dream Boats have been wrestling a perfect match thus far. They got in a little bit of trouble early. They took the drop kick to the face with the ladders, but they recovered. Look at this. 
explosive way to start this thing. But since that happened, the Dreamboats have found a way to get momentum. And we caught it. Good God! Power slam on the floor by Johnny Ink. That could be a difference maker right there. Johnny Ink, easily the most powerful individual in this whole matchup, in this whole situation. And talk about the fact that Ashton and Ink at each at one time have been the champion of this company. Nice DDT there. When you talk about tag team continuity, I'm not sure, it's pretty close. The Dreamboats have been best friends for years. Ashton and Ink, likewise. Well, shot to the midsection with that ladder. And one for Ashton, too. And down he goes. Dreamy Drew takes a look at those titles hanging from the Colonial Theater ceiling. We've had some crazy ladder matches in this building over the years. This is adding to the legacy. Very smart. Ashton doesn't let him get anywhere near those titles. Backstabber, and down goes Dreamy Drew. Meanwhile, Ink and Michael Sean brawling on the outside. Oh! You hear all the air escape his body on that power slam, and then the backstabber not too long later. Back to live action now, and Ashton trying to climb that ladder. Meanwhile, Johnny Ink being beat up on the outside by Michael Sean. Well, Ashton, he's got a very long frame, trying to reach those titles, unsuccessful on that particular effort. And Dreamy Drew, seasoned veteran, gets him off that ladder, gets him way away from that ladder. No chance of winning it whatsoever. Big time body slam on the floor. Executed by Ink. Ashton and Dreamy Drew on the inside now. Irish Whip perhaps. And Dreamy Drew turns the tides and the anatomy of Ashton goes crashing into that ladder. Wow. The more you get beat up, the more ravaging, the more punishment your body takes, the more difficult it is to climb that ladder and win this matchup. If your body lands 10 or 15 times on a ladder, how are you gonna be able to climb a ladder and grab the titles? It'll be too much pain, it'll be too much punishment, it'll be too much suffering to leave this building a champion. Action is absolutely everywhere. Johnny Ng battling with Michael Sean on the outside for several minutes now, with Dreamy Drew and Ashton paired off on the inside. This is the Colonial Theater. This is TWF. Except no substitutes for the insanity you see on your TV screen. We've been doing our thing since 98. One more time into the ladder. But we missed. Ashton able to sidestep Dreamy Drew and he hit that ladder face first. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Flying knee to the side of the face and down goes Dreamy Drew. Talk about agility. Talk about innovation. Ashton gets his team one step closer. Oh, but Johnny Ink takes some steel on the outside. Ashton very gingerly trying to get to that top rope. Uh-oh. And Michael Sean makes him pay by shoving him off that top rope with both Dreamboats in the ring now. And Ashton stuck. This does not look good for Famous Inc. Johnny Inc. on the outside, and now the Dreamboats with a genuine opportunity. Oh, on the ladder. The Dreamboats with a genuine opportunity now to deliver some tandem offense. Assisted leg drop across the throat of Ashton. 
And just as Johnny Ng tries to get back in and even the odds. Oh, ladder to the spine, and Ashton is hurt. This could get very brutal very quickly. Oh, what is that? Is that the left arm? If you can't grab onto a ladder to climb up it, you're of no good in this matchup. Going after the left arm of Ashton. Meanwhile, Ink, Ink has commandeered a very, very, very large ladder on the outside. Wow. That, my friends, is a huge weapon. Oh, he kicked him off. What a way to thwart any possible double team. Ashton kicks away Michael Sean and then Bulldogs Dreamy Drew and breathes some life back into his team's chances of winning this thing. It looks like Michael Sean now on the outside one more time and Johnny Ink has that purple back. Oh. Oh, what a shot. How many times over the past year? Oh! How many times over the past year has that purple bat been swung at the legs and the face and the body of ink? And what a receipt, what payback he's getting here and now. Wow. Ladder across the spine, but Ashton able to turn the tables. Look at this. Kicks away one guy, bulldogs the other and breathes some life back into his team's chances. And Ink finally able to get inside the squared circle where he can help his team move towards victory. Uh-oh. Wow. No explanation needed. That was a double suplex into the ladder. Wow. The echo, the sickening thud of Dreamy Drew's body slamming in to that very large ladder. Oh, and now it's time to try to win this thing. Now it's time to set that ladder up in the very middle of the ring, climb it, and win yourself the Tag Team Championship. You hear this is awesome, breaking out through the crowd. I agree 100%. This is awesome. And there's two individuals both climbing ladders side by side. Reverse DDT by Michael Sean prevents any possible... Oh, prevents any possible ink situation of climbing the ladder and winning this thing. Meanwhile, back to live action now in Dreamy Drew trying to scale that ladder, trying to win this matchup for his team. Trying to keep the tag titles with the Dream Boats, but Ashton has other plans. Roll the dice! Spins him around and dumps him on his face, and all four men have seen their fair share of punishment, and there's plenty more to go. Got a ladder perched in the corner now. I think Ink realizes if you climb the ladder now, you're just gonna get shoved off. It's time for more punishment. It's time for more innovation. Wow! Wheelbarrow German into the cutter on the ladder, and Michael Sean is not moving. Talk about... Oh, spectacular, absolutely, positively spectacular tandem offense by the Dream Boats. On the Dream Boats, I should say. Famous Inc., despite taking some heavy artillery early, has recovered and shown these people what they're made of. Just to survive. 
to thrive in this environment. It takes passion. It takes guts. It takes innovation. And both of these teams have it. I might not like the tactics of the Dreamboats most of the time, but they are tough and they are smart, and they will do whatever they can to keep those tag titles in their possession. Now Ashton trying to scale that, that ladder now. Oh! And Michael Sean shoves the ladder over and crutches Ashton on the top rope. Look at this. What does that feel like? What does that feel like to come crashing off that ladder? Right in the twig and berries. And now it's Michael Sean's turn to try to climb that ladder, to try to win this thing. Both members of Famous Sink are down. This is a prime opportunity for the Dreamboats to win the tag titles, or to keep them, I should say. Now he's only a few rungs. Oh, and Ink does everything he can to stop that. Crucifix powerbomb. Razor's Edge, whatever you want to call it, it was extremely effective and prevented the Dreamboats from keeping the tag titles. You see Dreamy Drew roll back inside the ring. Well, here's what was going on moments ago. It was the Purple Bat and the Crucifix Power Bomb executed very nicely by Johnny Ink. We talk about how his power could be a difference maker, especially with those ladders around. Ashton trying to place the ladder. Uh, I, I think he's too far away to grab the titles. Wow! Did you see the height? Did you see the elevation? Did you see him throw all caution to the wind? Look at this. Puts his own body on the line to take out his opponents and try to win this thing. What a moment. And all four men are down. All four men are sucking wind and in extreme pain at this particular moment in time. Who wants it more? Who wants to leave the Colonial with two titles and all the marbles? Very smart there as Johnny Ink tosses Dreamy Drew to the outside. One less guy to deal with. One less guy hitting you from behind. Meanwhile, Michael Sean though with some shots to the midsection. And there's a knee to the stomach. Johnny Ink was not about to let Michael Sean get any sort of advantage. This has been spectacular. This has been amazing. This is TWF. This is a packed colonial theater. We thank you for your patronage. This, my friends, is a ladder match for the tag titles. Vertical suplex. Michael Sean stuck up there. Well, trying to wiggle his way out of it. Ashton is setting up a friend. Balance, power, strength. What a landing! Suplex on the ladder! My God! Well, there's a get the belts chant from these people here in Sacramento. All four individuals have been absolutely brutalizing each other in the name of being the tag team champions. 
Ashton, the only man standing at this particular moment in time. That ladder has seen better days. It looks all warped. And Ashton doing everything he can, very gingerly trying to make his way up that ladder. He looks hurt. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He definitely looks hurt. And now he's down. These people might have thought for a split second he was going to make his way all the way up. Dreamy Drew, however, had other plans. And now Dreamy Drew, after flooring Ashton, is thinking it's his turn to climb that ladder, grab the titles, and go back to Reno as a champion. And Johnny Ink ain't having it. Powerbomb. And once again, we're back where we started. All four men are down. There's that powerbomb one more time by Johnny Ink. Look how large that ladder is. Johnny Ink is six foot five. Look at that ladder. My God, that thing is absolutely enormous. Oh, nothing fancy about that. No superplex, perhaps, trying to put the finishing touches on Michael Sean and make him a non-factor. Oh, wait. Dreamy Drew sees it. Dreamy Drew ducks underneath. Tower of Doom. Oh, but Ashton with the flying forearm. Moments ago, superplex slash powerbomb. Ashton, the only man standing, the only man not reeling at this moment in time. He's on the top. And down goes Dreamy Drew. Like a human battering ram, Ashton leaps off that top rope. And look at the size of that orange ladder. Well, there's that Tower of Doom one more time, but Ashton able to stop any possibility of Dreamy Drew climbing the ladder after the Tower of Doom powerbomb. Not sure what's on Ashton's mind, He's got that ladder precariously placed on the side of the ring. And he's got another ladder. What the hell? I'm not sure what's on his mind thinking about climbing that ladder and grabbing the title. He's close. He's a tall individual. He's extremely close. Oh, wait, that's Michael Sean jumping into the picture, jumping into the proceedings. Driver breaks the ladder. Oh my god! Good lord! Ashton delivers a pile driver on Michael Sean off one ladder and through the other ladder. That ladder has been completely destroyed by the body of Michael Sean. Oh my lord! And when the smoke clears, Dreamy Drew is the only man standing. Dreamy Drew can climb that ladder. Oh, he sees Ink stirring on this side of the ring here. Series of forearms right to the face. Ink is fighting back. A reverse choke slam. 
dumps him on his face. And now Johnny Ink, Johnny Ink sees an opportunity. Johnny Ink is climbing. Johnny Ink is climbing. Oh, and down he goes. Only one title fell. There's still one title dangling from the ceiling here. This match is not over. This match is not over. Only one of the titles fell off. It's sudden death now. Who can grab this one? It's sudden death. It's sudden death. Whoever grabs this title. Yeah, I'm being told it's sudden death. Whoever can grab this one title. Ashton stirring. Ashton climbing. Get the belt, Jan. And the dreamboats. How much is left in the gas tank? It's a sudden death environment. There's one title left. What a victory. What a match. Famous Inc. put it all on the line. Famous Inc. showed you what they're made of. And Famous Inc. are the new tag team champions of this company. What a match. A spectacular display of heart and guts on both sides. My hat is off to everyone in that match.